Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Mike, if you're new here. And uh, I just wanted to interrupt this video real quick because what happened was I did a video called One Night at Bartlett. And I thought I lost a bunch of footage and it turned out that my that I misplaced the footage and when I was cleaning up to get ready for some new projects, I found it. And I feel like it was enough footage and good footage that I can make another video out of it. So, so here we go. This is uh, One Night at Bartlett, version two. Thanks for watching and subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Here we go. So I climbed the hill to see what was going on because two trucks came up here and turned around and it looked like they were having trouble. Their motors were revved up pretty high and it was two different times. They weren't like together, but I don't see anything that's crazy. I mean, there's some ruts right here, but they're not real muddy. So I wanted to investigate, but I'm not even sure. They pulled down this road right here and then backed up and left out this way. But if they wanted to continue on, this is the road that they would continue on for. And they didn't. And uh, that looks like a pretty nice beach down there. So I'm kind of shocked they didn't go down there. Although I like my beach better. It's a little more secluded, I think. If you took that beach, multiple people might take it. But look at this lake. It's nice. It's cooler than I thought it would be. I mean, temperature-wise. I mean, it's definitely cool, too. So, I'm just kind of up the hill from my campsite there. The lake's pretty choppy. There's boats that come by randomly. In fact, there's one right there coming. But even when the boats aren't there, it's still a little choppy. All right, that's it for now. Okay, I got my tent set up. This is where I'm going to sleep tonight. This is where I'm going to sleep tonight. And then this is where I'm going to play tomorrow. I can't wait. It's Wednesday the 24th and there is nobody here. I mean, you can kind of see way down there maybe. I don't even know if the camera can pick them up, but way down there, there's some people at the beach. But I'm here all by myself. Look at this, look what I just woke up to. This is from inside my tent. I just woke up. I'm a little worried it might sprinkle, but... But look at that water. All the way down to my feet. Oh, it's gonna be a great day. The sun's getting ready to pop up over the edge there. Can you hear all the birds?
time to blow up the power board. So I got a new air chuck. I have two of them. It goes into the paddle board and the other one goes into an air chuck. So I've never tried this before, but we're gonna try this instead of the hand pump and see how it goes. All right, so these doohickeys right here they plug into your paddle board and then just use a regular air chuck fitting. So I use my ARB on my Jeep to fill up my paddle board. And uh, it took about five minutes, but it was way faster than pumping it by hand. And usually what I do is I use like an air chuck, like in a blower, and then I take the hose off the pump and blow air into it until it gets fully extended and then I hand pump the rest of it. It takes like 20 minutes and by the time I'm done I'm all beat up and can't use it but this this was pretty slick. It took about five minutes total to blow it up to about 11 psi and actually my chuck says 11 and my hand pump or my chuck says 10 and my hand pump says 11 and it says max 15 so I think it's really nice and tight and it's going to look great. Hopefully that's not too windy for you. Anyway, I'm going to go play in the water. I'll uh, check back with you later. So I just got out of the lake, literally, and uh, fell off my paddleboard. So that happened. There's my paddle board. So I'm just learning. I'm doing pretty good. I can I can sit on the top and row all over the lake. No problem. I can even get up on my knees and row all over the lake, no problem. But as soon as I stay stand up, it's all shaky and and I keep falling off of it. So it's pretty funny. It's a little shock, it was a little shocking the first couple times, but um, but I'm curious anybody else that paddle boards was it just as difficult to learn for you Or did you just stand right up and go? But yeah, like getting from my knees to my feet it just wobbles back and forth and and I finally stood up I finally got up and stood up and 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 I was good as long as the waves were you know in the front and the back, but if they hit me from the side it was super wobbly and uh, and this is about as calm as the lake has been right now but it's usually a li it's been a little bit choppier than that and so I was just curious if uh, if I just suck at this <laughs> but um yeah it's crazy I did get to stand up I stood up for a few minutes and I even paddled around a little bit but as soon as the waves came in the side it just shot me off like a rocket so it's been fun it's been wet and, but the weather's nice the water's warm so I mean you can't complain about that